So, number 2, the diagram on the right shows a circle with center O. Okay, given that the major arc length EF is 25 cm. So, here the major arc, the major arc is here. So, the major arc is 25 cm. Alright, so we know that the formula for arc, R is equal to S, where S is equal to R, theta. So, R is the radius and theta is the angle, but in radian. It must be in radian. Right. So, now we see here is given that EF is 25 cm. Okay. EOF. So, EOF is 1.284 radian. Find the radius of the circle. So, we know for one circle, for one circle we have 2 pi radian. So, we know that uh, overall is 2 pi radian. And we know that for the major, for the major arc, so, so S major is equal to 25. S major is equal to R theta is equal to 25. So, so we don't have radius but we can calculate what is the theta major. So, we know one circle is 2 pi radian and EOF is 1.284. So, theta major is equal to 2 pi which is 360 minus 1.284. So, 2 times 3.142 minus 1.284. So, here we get. So, 5 radian. So, we get 5 radian. So, we know that theta is. So, radius times 5 radian is equal to 25. So, radius is equal to 25 divided by 5 which is equal to 5. So, the radius of the circle R is equal to. 5. So, B, the minor arc EF in the CM. So, we know that S, so the arc EF is equal to R theta. So, formula for the arc is R theta. So, this is radius and this is the angle in radian. So, we have the radius which is, we know this one is 5 cm. So, radius is 5 cm and theta in radian. So, it is given 1.284 so here we get 6.42 this one is centimeter so now we get this one so number three the diagram on the right shows semicircle o p q r so here o p q r with radius of 5 cm so it's given the radius is 5 cm. Given the arc length of QR, so QR is 5.7 cm. Calculate the value of theta in radian. So, we see here, we know that one circle, we have 2 pi radian. Because 2 pi radian is equal to 360 degree. So, we know that half of the, half of the circle or 180 degree is equal to by radian. So, this one is by radian. So, we know S is equal to R theta. So, when we have S, when we have any two, we can find the other variable because it one variable, two variable, three variable. So, here we have 5.7. So, S is equal to 5.7 and then we have radius is equal to pi. Now, we can find what is the theta. So, this one is the theta of QR. QR. So, theta QR is equal to 5.7 divided by 5. So, we get 1.14 radian. So, this one is 1.14. So, it wanted theta in radian. So, we know theta is here. We know from P to R is pi radian. So, theta is equal to pi radian minus the radian that we just get is 1.14. 1.14 radian. So, we get 3.142 minus 1.14. So, we get 
radian. So this one is 2.002 radian. So B, the arc length of PQ in CN. So we know that PQ, PQ is equal to S, PQ. So formula of S is R theta. R radius, theta is radian. So we know radius is 5 and we get that theta is equal to 2.002. So this one is 2.002. So here we get 10.01 centimeter. So arc length PQ is 10.01 cm.